Today we are going to be unboxing Dead of Winter. Uh, now, this is not any normal copy of Dead of Winter because we suspect that this box here may indeed be a counterfeity copy of Dead of Winter. Yes, we. you could be looking here at a counterfeity copy of Dead of Winter. Now, the reason why we suspect it might be a counter counterfeity copy is because uh, we I purchased this for a quite a cheap amount of money. It was around how much was it, Leonard? Twenty-one pounds. Twenty-one pounds for a game that normally sells forty-five to fifty pounds. Um, I thought it was part of a January sales when I purchased it, or it might have been just prior to Christmas. Um, but obviously, I snapped a copy up at twenty-one pounds. Uh, quite excited to play it. Unfortunately, after that, uh, the the supplier has contacted me and given me a full re refund. This is not something I requested. Um, as the as the game is still sealed, I haven't even opened it yet, um, because there have been a few complaints. However, they didn't state exactly why, but they did give me twenty pound compensation. So today we are going to be opening and unboxing this game um, to see exactly what the component quality looks like and whether you could in fact tell it was a counterfeity copy of Dead of Winter. Uh, Leonard, before we do that though, what would you say about the actual quality of this box that we're looking at? Almost identical. It looks like they've taken out the real contents or... And then... Or... You, oh. Yeah, I mean it does. It looks, doesn't it, a little bit as if... Uh, the box quality is beautiful. Uh, it's almost um, identical. In fact, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell no. that this was a fake. It's really, really no good. Okay, so... Uh, with not much ado, let's get on to the unboxing. No, do you want to um, take off this uh, cellophane around the outside? So this is the very first time we're ever going to see what's inside uh, this this counterfeit copy of Dead of Winter. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Oh. So Ooh. instantly, we've got a rule book. Let's take a. Let's just keep this in the um, yeah. in the shot, Leonard. It smells good. It smells like fresh. Yeah, it smells rule book. new. It smells new. Um, print copy doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Uh, again, you would not be able to tell looking at this rule book at all mm. that there was any issues uh, with that game. Um, still very very high quality uh, components, making you think it could actually be real. Box, game itself Forward. looks really, uh, really good. And you can unfold that. Yeah. Wow. So this here is the uh, one of the playing boards. Potentially, I mean, the the print isn't yeah, all that clear, but again, it just looks like it could be part of the game. Looks like perhaps we've got a real copy of this game. Now, some people com complain, don't they, about the print here. Um, to be honest. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with this at all. No, not really. Um, and what I would say is these are a little bit looser than you'd expect. Yes. Um, Very loose. And the cardboard is slightly thinner uh, than you'd expect from a high quality game. But still. The look of things. Have we got a, a zombie missing here? Len, or has he just fallen into the box? Probably fallen into the box. Oh. So, so you've got some locations and cards. Locations. Now, I have played this game before. Uh, and what I would say here is this is certainly a cheaper and thinner material than you'd expect in the actual yes. copy of the game. These look good. They've used now often it's the dice uh, where you can really tell, uh, and this dice here is clearly a very very cheap replica, wouldn't you say, Len? Do you want to touch that? Yeah, it's not as red as you would expect it to be. Looking at the pictures. Yeah, because and we have checked, and also can you see here, Leonard, that the actual yeah the painting's gone off. The paint. That's for failure. The dice. Uh, so That's so. This is clearly not quite the high production standards. Um, nothing wrong with these little blue dice. 
and uh, we've got all of the plastic uh, bags you'd expect in a game like this. Yeah. It's, it would be very easy to see why somebody purchasing this game yeah. would be totally unaware that they are fake. But it's a fake copy. Um, and yet the dice here is, is the big giveaway for me. Yeah, very big. Uh, you can see that actually the colouring there as well has gone. But still, it's very good artwork. Well, it's a, I mean, it is a copy of an excellent game, uh, Leonard. I think you've got to be a little bit older than you to play it, um, yeah. because it's about zombies. I um, But we'll play it one day for sure. Maybe not this copy. A bit um, loose. Maybe a bit loose. Yeah, there. you're right. This the packaging. Uh, Usually. It's uh, it's very 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 cheap packaging, and actually the card quality here doesn't it, look very good. No, it's very thin, uh, very papery. Should we take some of these out? Do you think? Yeah, just I to have see. a quick look at. Uh, so we'll have a look at these here. If I can actually do my job and take this out, and this is where you can really tell, I think. As well with the dice, they're a bit thin. Yeah, a bit thin. Um, and the print quality is maybe not as good as a real game. No, but you know, because a lot of the, yeah. the expensive games now have kind of a linen style finish, and yeah. this is very uh, plasticky. Um, yeah. And actually, just some of the, the way the text is is written on these cards uh, is is not it's not particularly clear. These so, it's quite easy to be fooled by the outside if you haven't even opened it. And it does appear, doesn't it, that we have we have one zombie on the loose in. No, I fixed it. Oh, did you? Did you find him? Yes. Well, that's good. I was slightly nervous about um, being visited by that zombie uh, later on in the evening. So there we are. This is a counterfeit copy of Dead of Winter. Uh, it's amazing to me that somebody would obviously sell this to a to a UK supplier, um, and the UK supplier selling it for just twenty pounds. So you do wonder how. Uh, the person who'd gone to all this trouble in, in printing and re recreating this copy uh, has made any money at all. So, um, from your experience here, Leonard, what would you what would you say? What do you think we've learnt from all of this? Well, learnt that it's easy, it's possible to tell the difference if you look on the inside, but on the outside, it's quite hard to find. That it's a counterfeiting copy. Yes. So never trust the appearances on the outside because the inside is a counterfeit copy. And obviously the people who have bought this same edition have noticed uh, these errors. And thankfully, um, people that might not have expected uh, a better quality game components than this have now had a refund. Uh, and so everybody's happy. So there we are. This is how to spot Dead of Winter um, counter counterfeit copy. Check the dice. The dice was the giveaway. The very, the very poor painting quality on the dice was very, very, very bad. It was indeed. So there we are. 